Hello everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here in a national park, a bit of a weird angle, but we'll get used to it. There's ducks around, there's cats around. I'll try and show you. I have a new friend here. Join me. And I can't blame him. There's people around, there's kids around. We'll get over it together. This is where I talk about the energy in the sky, that we are all affected from all zodiac signs, how to more positively or better handle it. So this is going to be from the 30th of October 2021 until the 9th of November 2021. And we're starting this time with an uneasy energy in the sky. This is a time of verdicts. This is the time of the sun square Saturn in the sky. And it's the sun Mars square Saturn squaring uh, um, squaring uh, Uranus in the sky. So this T-square in the sky is heightened by the Sun's presence and Mars entering the realm. And soon the Moon joining in with this new Moon in the 12th degree of Scorpio on the 4th of November. So we're starting at the 30th with the square by the Sun to Saturn the exact square this is a time of verdicts this is a time that we see if we've sown correctly if we did the work thoroughly enough this is a time that if we did we could actually be granted the authority be given the stature and 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 uh, the rank but definitely where we did not sow our fields we could feel the consequences rise up to the surface right now in the man attention the first the second the third uneasy days with energy especially creative energy with the Sun quincunx and Chiron in the sky and that aspect that's been accompanying us all through this mercury retrograde cycle mercury squaring Pluto trining Jupiter comes up for the last time again, giving us an ability to break through our own psychological um, patterns, to think outside the box, to understand new ways to handle emotional problems and things that have stopped us in our course before. But definitely an uneasy time with creativity, a time of honing and exactment and purification. But you have to remember, as we are heading into the moon on the fourth, the new moon on the fourth, the third, the fourth, and the fifth are days of energetical imprinting. Whatever passes through us within these days is carried along through this lunar cycle of 29 and a half days. As these days are, so would be the months, in a sense. And this is a very intense new moon in the 12th degree of Scorpio, still conjunct Mars, squaring Saturn, opposing Uranus to the degree, heightening the T square in the sky. This is definitely not going to be an easy lunar cycle. This is not going to be a, a calm, emotionally calm time for anyone this is a time that we could say brace you know this is an emotional storm and this is definitely a month with big economic changes by bitcoin you know um, great economic transformations and this affects us both on a personal level and on a global level um, and you know watching with my kid a cartoon today the most amazing slogan was was uh, was given um, and it goes something like this life is not about asking when the storm's over but learning to how learning how to go singing and then sing in the rain and that's an amazing slogan so the great wisdom is not to 
think about when the storm's over, but to actually go singing and dancing in the rain. And this is something I want to hand over to you. And thanks Disney <laughs> for thank Disney for that slogan. <laughs> anyway. So this is a very intense new moon and an intense lunar cycle. But as we're heading to the 5th and the 6th and the 7th and the 8th, the sky clear up. There's a real sense of relief. It's a very creative, very musical, very artistic time in the sky. Much more mellow. The night of the 9th, Eastern European time is emotionally intense, is a bit obsessive, so watch it there. It's about everything I had to say about this time. Part of the clearing up, by the way, is because Venus and, and Mercury are sextiling, so communication gets a lot easier as well. I want to remind you all that there's courses online with me on the Zoom, there's private lessons and readings all the time. So you can contact me, all the details are at the slide at the end. I want to thank you for sharing and commenting and wish us all to live long and prosper. This is Nia Father. Goodbye.